beautiful people, let's find out the story of a Yellowstone icon. When we see Yellowstone icon, we are referring to Old Faithful Geyser. Why? It is because the Old Faithful was named by the Washburn Expedition of 1870. This expedition scrutinized the area until this area called Yellowstone. Then, some members of the expedition went to the Upper Geyser Basin after doing the travel down the Firehole River and saw the geyser. Because of the regularity of its eruption, then they called the Old Faithful Geyser. However, they say that they believe a gold prospector George Harvey came through the area with the Native Americans. So, named for that geyser, an old faithful geyser, but discovered it in 1864. You can check the link below for more information about the old faithful geyser regarding their history. No beautiful people, the old faithful geyser is one of the popular geysers throughout the world because of the magnificent natural features. Actually, Regardless of its popularity, some people don't know about Yellowstone's most quality of being well-known geyser. And I would say I was one of them or we are one of them. But I really appreciate it when we had a chance to visit this area with a group tour. While the tour guide explained it, it's magnifico, they said. It's really true. On the other hand, the science says these geysers are only formed under specific conditions. It's magma under the Earth's surface surface superheats pocket of underground water so after building pressure that's the time pushes the water upward like this There are fascinating things about old, old faithful geyser and you know beautiful people there are a lot of geyser in Yellowstone but old faithful geyser was the first name geyser. Also they believe that it erupts every 91 minutes on interval average and we supposed to witness it around 4 p.m. However, we caught a traffic on our way to old faithful geyser. We thought it's some animals on the road that usually happen to make some traffic jumps but but not its detour or road construction so we use only one lane and there's a funny thing or shall we say interesting things history says primitive people used the geyser to wash their dirty clothes by throwing them between eruption and wait for them to be shut back out according to them clothes were already clean funny huh <laughs> kind of interesting as well another thing the water that comes out from the old faithful has been measured at 204 degrees Fahrenheit or 95.56 degrees Celsius. However, in recent years, it changes the average interval and a bit shorter than today. Before, the average interval is 66 minutes compared to today is 91 minutes because of the earthquake activity that affects the water structure of the water system below ground. Or, there are other possibilities. You check the link below for more details. More However, an eruption lasts 1.5 to 5 minutes with 3,700 to 8,400 gallons of boiling water and reaches a height of 106 to 184 feet. The smell is like or compared to the skunk-like odor because of the sulfuric acid and hydrogen sulfide gas. That's why when you are in Yellowstone and nearby the geyser, it can be a bit of pudding. And yes, we agree, all faithful is the most touristy of the Yellowstone geyser. If you notice, the whitest colored minerals is siliceous center, also known as geyserite. Take note for the visitors, you need to follow order from your tour guide. I understand now why our tour guide before focused to his people and call your attention if you break his rule by attending to step on the ground. You should always be on the ramp or boardwalk for your protection because in the previous years, there were visitors falling into thermal at Old Faith Paul Geyser in 1919, fell into the thermal water, suffered severe burns. After two years, another visitor fell into a hot spring and got severe burns. So just a heads up for those who wants to visit Yellowstone, especially at the geysers, it's very dangerous to step down to the ground.
Another attraction at Old Faithful is the Old Faithful Inn in or lodge when we enter at the old faithful inn wow amazing lodge or inn we noticed straight away that the inn was made up of logs and stone so amazing beautiful people it's my first time seeing this kind of structure the whole design or materials are made up of logs and stone <laughs> well let's check it out who designed this incredible inn and the history says Robert Reimer was a designer and built in 1903 and 1904 with local logs and stone. And now, the inn is considered the largest log structure in the world. Mm -hmm. You know what? Very fascinating because the towering lobby made up of a massive stone fireplace and the handcrafted clock. Take note, the handcrafted clock made of copper, wood, and wrapped iron for its focal points. Magnificent! Because of that, this old faithful inn, even it was nearly created, right away became one of Yellowstone's most popular attractions. And yes, even ourselves, the moment we entered the inn, we really shocked about the place and so amazing. Well, how much? The question is how much per night? Well, maybe it varies for the seasons, but it says starting at $199 and for the deluxe hotel room is $439 to $599. Standard room is in at the west west wing, one queen or two queen bed is $349 to $549. So that's why it varies. And this hotel has 327 rooms for three floors. The common or public areas accessible to wheelchairs. There's a gift shop, restaurant and lounge and more. Since we don't check in at the hotel or at the end because we just swing by here, we couldn't show the hotel room maybe next time because we're planning hmm I don't know another thing that we notice when we go around is the decor Christmas in August <laughs> Buy some items at the keep shop as a souvenir. We're done shopping some items on the gift shop and getting some pretty photos and videos. Time to return to the bus because the time to spend there is up already. Unfortunately, our bus broke down and the driver is fixing it and we don't know what happened. We wasted time to wait and no choice. Better off to wait and fix it than sorry. Almost dark before we leave at Old Faithful Geyser. As far as we know, we did not swing by at the other geyser. We had one geyser or spring which is the Grand Prismatic Spring. For the last visit for today and the uh, other one tour guide says we're gonna do it for tomorrow so beautiful people thanks for watching god loves you see you in my next vlog bye for now well wait a minute beautiful people our next vlog is about the grand prismatic spring it's awesome it's very amazing see you next time bye for now <music>